the figure given below shows the pictorial view of an object. Draw the full scale the following views. A. Sectional front view along AA. B. Top view. C. Left, left and side view. Insert 10 major dimensions. So now see in this sum, length is how much? 25 plus 110 plus 15. So it will be 150. So you will draw 150. Height is given 75. So you take 75 height and width is 80. So we will take width 80. So first we will draw layout, front view, top view, side view in first angle. So first we will draw 150, 75 and 80. We will draw this layout. After drawing this layout, we will start with front view. Now, now if you see in front view, see there are how many parts? Three parts. First, I will draw part 3. So, how much is that? 1, 5, 15. Right? So, first I will draw 15. Then they are given 50, right? So, from here we will take 50. Then we have a slope, but we don't know the slope, right? So, then if you see this, how much is that? 110. So, take 110 here. Then you go up by 25 and you join this slope. So we are done with part 2. Then we will draw part 1. Now how much is this height? 15. So we are done with part 1. Now we need to draw dotted. So what we will do? We will see this. Now see, that, so they have given 25. Right? So from here you take 25. Then it is going down by 40. So this will be dotted, which you can't see, and then it is going down by 40, right? And from there we have a vertical line also. See this, this dotted line is for this. This dotted line is for this, right? So we are done with front view. Now we need to draw. Now, now we need to draw top view. And one more thing, see why I am drawing light? Because it's a sectional front view. So when we will cut, so a lot of portion will get erased. So that's why initially when you draw any a sectional view in orthographic, so first you draw light and then you draw it dark. Now we'll see top view. So in top view, you can project from front view, this part. How much it is? See, it is given 10, 40, 10, and that is 80. So it, you, it, you can take 10, 10 on both the sides. This will be full dark. Then, till 110, we have this. See this. This part will be like this. Then they have given 10. So we can take 10 width. And how much will be this? This is up to this line, right? See this. This part. No? So that we can project from here. Project from here. This is what you will get. Then if you see there is a slot of 5M. This is your center line. So you can take 5, 5. So this is 5. So you can take 2.5, 2.5 and both the sides. Right? Then, so this line will be dark, this line is not dark. This won't be joined, it will be like this. Then we have this part, see this, so that we can project from here. Then we have this internal part also, so, so this line won't be there. Then they have given radius 15. So you take 15, 15 on both the sides. So it will be like this. So this is top view. Now we need to draw radius 25. So that we can draw. From here we can draw radius 25. So it will be like this. And this slot is continues. Here also there won't be any material. Hmm. 
we can show this cutting plane line A. With this, I will come back to you regarding this. Now, first we will draw side view. So, we are done with top view. Now, we will see side view. Now, when you see from the side, you will see this part first. See this rectangle. So, that I can project. And the width is how much? 50, right? So, I can draw center line. And I can take projection also. From here also I can take. And then project out. So it will be like this. And you will have. Five. Thing. This slot. Right. Then if you see. We can see this part. this. So we are done with this. Now if you see, we, we have these two rectangular faces also, which is through and through. So that also we can draw. Right? Then we have a circle. See this radius 15. So that we can draw. And because of that, we can draw this dotted line, which we can project from here, right? After that, we need to project this part, this part, no? this part, this part, then then that we need to project. And then we'll take it from here. So we are done with side view as well. So now we are done with side view and top view. Now we need to draw sectional front view. So what I will do first, I will draw this diagram once again. it is like this. Now we are going to cut from here. See this. We have a cutting plane. Now we are just going to visualize this that if we cut how it will appear. In reality we don't cut. So we will just assume that if I remove this portion how it will appear. So if I remove this, see this, this portion will go away. So this one should be done. So if you see, this portion is getting cut. The portion which is getting cut will be hatched at 45 degree. 
this won't be getting cut back because it's a curved surface. This is also not getting cut. This is also not getting cut back because there is a gap. So what we need to do, we need to erase this. This will go away. See, it is not there. It is there behind, but we don't show any dotted line in sectional view. So this much portion will be dark. This will be inclined at 45 degrees. We will draw this hatching lines. We'll keep a gap of two to three millimeters. Mm. So we are done with sectional front view. And left inside view. Now we need to do dimensioning. So they have asked us to draw 10 dimensions. So we'll do all the dimensions, whatever is the given dimensions. I can show it is 25 here or and it is 25, 110, and 15. Then this gap is 5 that I can show. This is 15, this is 25. Always take smaller dimension inside. Then this height, 15. See this. This is what I mean. When you take smaller dimension inside, this is 15. This is 25. So you draw 15 inside and 25 outside. Now we need to draw one more. We can show this height. That is 75. So we have done sectional front view, top view, and left hand side. And this 3D figure, it's only for explanation. You don't have to draw this in exam. So just draw front view, top view, and side view. And you show projections, like how you take all this. That you need to show.